Hello everybody, it's Forever Sims. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another part of Let's Play The Sims for Animal Lovers. I am so excited to be back with this Let's Play for you guys. I'm having so much fun with it and I'm just, I'm living you guys. I'm living. So it is the next day. Um, the girls are having some salad for breakfast and Betty, as you can see, is kind of, you know, coming to join them. Oh my god, that's so cute. She's just like... Oh, I think they're mad about it. No, girls, it's fine. It's fine. Betty is allowed on the counter. Anyways, um, in the last one, I felt like the last part was honestly a little bit weird. Um, first parts usually are, and I'm really sorry if you kind of felt like it was awkward. I felt like it was awkward, and I'm sorry for being awkward. <laughs> but hopefully this part is better. I'm in a much better place now than I was when I filmed the first part and I'm just feeling good. I also had a tea today so I have hyped on caffeine and I'm like shaking and it's bad but that's okay. Um, <laughs> in this part um, Aria will be going to work. She works in three hours and we will be staying home with Caroline who doesn't have a job but Caroline is right now trying to raise enough money for her to open her own vet clinic. Now there are some little rumors circulating Brindleton Bay that um, a new second vet clinic is, you know, in the works. The city is planning on building a second vet clinic. They're just looking for someone willing to run it. And so if Caroline can get enough money, she will be obviously more than happy to volunteer to run this clinic. So hopefully that is something we can accomplish. Yesterday I had her go out and get some collectibles. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and sell those. Um, we'll probably sell these grapes too. We're going to sell all of the different um, harvestables that she has in her inventory just because we need to raise the money. She could ask her dad for help. Oh wait, I think that's catnip. No, we're gonna keep that, okay. Um, she could ask her dad for help, but she really doesn't want to. She wants to do this on her own. Um, you know, her dad helped her with the house and she really does not want his help right now with this. So hopefully we can kind of get this done without him. I'm gonna have her come water her garden out here and I think she does have another little plant. Oh, on her balcony that she needs to take care of you yeah. oh god it's doing horrible well <laughs> yikes uh, it's fine we'll we'll get it figured out I do also want to plant this catnip I think that if we put it like oh, if we put it like over here it'll like blend in with this landscaping I think that's kind of what I'm going for anyways but yeah <laughs> that's what we're gonna try to do um, little Betty is over here being so cute one thing okay I don't think Betty can do it in our kitchen but I've seen it happen before in other kitchens uh, the cats can actually jump on top of the refrigerators because we have this cabinet here I don't think Betty can but I think it's actually so like funny and cute because my two of my cats will jump up on the refrigerator and it's like so cute is Betty becoming obsessed with something Betty can get in explicit Mm, obsessed about things around the house keep an eye on your furry companions to discover their unique interests oh she's just looking in the puddle okay well you can do that uh, let's water our catnip and then go upstairs and water our rose what's Aria up to okay Aria desperately wants to get a dog um, she is a dog person and she really wants a dog uh, she's trying to convince Caroline that it's a good idea, but just because Caroline's trying so hard to save up the money for a vet clinic right now, um, she thinks that they should wait a little bit, but I do think that we are going to get a dog uh, in the next couple of parts because Aria really, really wants one, and it's kind of like Betty is Caroline's cat, and so the dog can be like Aria's little pet, and I think that that would be really, really fun. But I'm going to have um, Caroline come harvest some things and uh, get some monies that way. We'll dig up some stuff. Um, I've been having a glitch where like I'll fill their queue with like collecting harvestables and 
and different things and it'll just like glitch out and clear and it's really annoying so hopefully that doesn't happen because <laughs> um, yeah it's really frustrating but um, we'll just have to wait and see I guess um, yeah that's uh, that's what's happening that's what's going on <laughs> Okay, so Caroline is almost done running around grabbing some collectibles, and I just wanted to really quickly say something. Um, I know in the last one, I'm pretty sure I like criticized Brindleton Bay a little bit, but one thing I will say is the neighborhoods are literally huge. Like, there's so much in one neighborhood. It's crazy. Like, there's like this little park here, and there's just a lot going on, and it's honestly, like, I love it. I really love that about this world is just how much there is in a neighborhood. I think it's really, really great. And I just wanted to make that little comment because I know that I was being pretty critical of it before, but I mean, I do love the world. There are a couple things I wish were a bit different, but obviously can't please everybody. You're never gonna be 100% happy with everything. Like it's just the way it goes. So it's not that big of a deal, but I'm gonna go ahead and sell these things. And we already have like, almost 2,500 simoleons, which is really good. I don't know exactly how much we're going to need, but I mean, we're doing good. I think we're doing good. Uh, she really needs some fun. Um, where's, did, did Betty seriously dig in the, okay, let's lecture Betty about knocking over trash cans because that's seriously ridiculous, but we did get this electronic upgrade part, which we can sell for 120 simoleons. So I guess it's kind of fine. What are you doing? Just go. Where are you going? Stop. Just go tend to your cat. Jeez. <laughs> God, I don't know why you're running all the way over there. Come on, girl. We are going to lecture her about jumping in the garbage cans. And then is that hair? Is that pet hair? Oh my God. Okay, well, let's just throw that in the garbage. Oh, she really has to pee. Okay, so after this, she'll go pee and shower, and then we will play with Betty a little bit because I want to. We need to be friendly with her like three more times, and then we'll finish this level of the aspiration. So that's pretty good, I think. Oh, we can evolve our plants. Okay, fun. We'll definitely do that too because I think it's so fun. Oh, and we have to extract these fossils as well. <laughs> There's so much to do. Oh my God. Um, yeah, it's fine. We got a lot going on. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Shower quickly. She's uncomfortable because she was near a pet that got sprayed by a skunk. I don't think it's our pet that got sprayed by a skunk, but who knows? Okay. This fossil is 50 simoleons and that one's 45. Not too bad. Not too bad. I definitely think we're well on our way to owning a vet clinic, which is really awesome. So let's go ahead and pet Betty calmingly. Um, I'm going to ask her what's wrong because if the option is there, I feel like that means that there's something wrong and I don't want there to be anything wrong. Oh, she's sad? What? What's wrong? Oh, she's telling us. Betty looks in need of attention. Well. Betty, it's a good thing that we're coming over here to play with you. Um, let's play with a laser pointer. I think that sounds fun. Right? Let's see how freaking cute this is. Da 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 da. Come on, girl, do it. Because I think. Oh man, look how high her fun is from playing with the animals. That is so awesome. And hopefully, you know, this is fun for Betty too. We're just having some fun playtime. But uh, I, one thing that I don't think I mentioned at the beginning when I started this um, is that we are going to be going out on the town tonight. Uh, Aria and Caroline want to go meet some people, <laughs> stuff like that. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. I can't wait for them to just kind of meet some new friends, maybe some love interests, who knows? Uh, I still, I don't really have like a set direction for this let's play yet um, because I'm just kind of waiting for the game to kind of give me some storylines to follow. So yeah, I'm really, really excited 
to see what this Let's Play has in store for us. Right now, I'm just really focused on getting the vet clinic because I want to do that like within the next few parts, ideally. So yeah, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, let's go ahead and let's ask her what's wrong again. Does she still need more affection? Because I'll, I'll give it to her. She keeps going up on the counters, but honestly, I don't care about pets going on the counters. Like that's so bad. This freaking litter box thing. Again, with the litter box thing. Okay, so here's the thing. We were having this problem last night where she would not use the litter box, like, in here. And so I had to literally move it out into the hallway for her to use it. I don't know if it's because I have it tucked up against the wall. Um, I did that because I think it looks better, but maybe it needs to be like that. Like, I don't know if she doesn't have room for it. Like, it worked. I moved it, like, out here, and it worked fine. So I don't know what her problem is. I'll give her a little bit more time to see if she figures it out. Hopefully she does. But, um, wow, our dead mom is asking us to go to the Spice Festival with her. No, mom. Uh, geez. But I'm going to have Marcella make some ramen. And um, hopefully Aria gets home soon. I don't know what time she gets off. At 6 p.m. Okay, so she'll be home soon. She can have some dinner and then we can go out. I'm thinking we're going to go to the bar in Brindleton Bay. There's a bar we could go to and there's a lounge we could go to. But I feel like, oh God, Betty, <laughs> get off the cutting board. Did you guys see that? That was like too much. Betty, what are you doing? Betty, go in your litter box, okay? Please. Like, I don't understand. Yeah, I know the stove is very interesting, but like go to the bathroom because I know you need to. Whatever, it's fine. But yeah, I think we're going to go to the bar because it just feels like more of like a Friday night outing than the lounge does. Especially for like a couple of young adults, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just how I'm feeling. So I'm going to have Caroline hopefully come sit at the island. I don't know. I don't think Betty likes the stove very much. I think she's kind of unsure about it, if I'm being honest. Um, Caroline's eating her ramen. I've actually never had proper ramen before, and I've always really wanted to try it. Oh, and Aria is home from work. She made about 250 smolians, which is actually really, really good. I'm going to have her come take a shower, and that's really all she needs, as far as needs go. Uh, hopefully... Betty finds her way to the litter box because it's seriously kind of annoying that she won't use it. I really don't want to have to just like have our litter box in the hallway. Like that's kind of gross, <laughs> you know? So hopefully she figures it out. Oh, we're praising Betty for what? What are we praising her for? What did she do? We're praising her for jumping on the counter? Okay, good, good, nice. Yeah, let's encourage that behavior, Caroline. Let's be like, yes, good girl. Way to go. Jump on that counter. You own that counter, girl. Literally, though. Like, my cats aren't technically allowed on the counter or on the table, but if they jump up there, like, I just pet them and don't put them down, and my mom gets so mad at me. Like, Amber, don't let them on the counter. Like, they're not allowed to be up there. But I'm like, you don't think they're allowed to be up there, but I really don't care if they're up there or not. I think they should be allowed to go up there, so whatever. Um, Aria is picking up Betty, and I'm going to try and just put her down in here and see if she'll go. Like, I know that the Sims can walk past there. I tested it. So I don't know why she, like, won't go in the litter box if it's in the bathroom. I think that's really weird. But we're going to put her down right in front of the litter box. Your litter box is right there, Betty. You can do it. I know you can. It's literally right there. Like, just go. It's behind you. Yep, there there you go. Is she going to do it? <gasps> oh, there she goes. Now she's <laughs> doing good. Okay. Well, now that Betty's found her litter box, uh, we are going to go ahead and head out on the town. It's 7 30 at night so i don't know i don't go out so i don't know what's like a normal time to go out if i'm being completely honest with you but 
A 7.30 seems fair enough. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's what we're doing anyways. It's fine. So we can go to the Club Calico, which is a lounge. Or we can go to Salty Paws Saloon, which is a bar. And honestly, I think that Salty Paws Saloon is gonna be the game plan because... It just seems more fitting. I don't know if this is true because again, I don't go out, but to me, a lounge feels like more of a place for like really high class people and like older people would go to a lounge. Whereas just like us broke young adults would just go to the bar, right? Is that accurate? I don't know. <laughs> Tell me if that's accurate because I'm really not sure. Um, but that's what we're doing. That's the game plan. So hopefully the Grim Reaper's here. That's a, a good start. The Grim Reaper and an old man. That is, that, that's what we got to go from. Two old men, actually. Cool. Well, <laughs> starting to question whether or not this was a good idea, but we are going to go ahead and order some drinks for, well, I'll just have them both go order separately. I want to see what their favorite drinks are. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do is have them both go and order their favorite drinks and uh, and we'll see, we'll see what happens. I can't remember if they both have only one every day of it. No, they have two. They've just been wearing the same ones. Oh, it's ladies night. Well, we picked a good night to come to the bar. Oh, who's this? Aaron Collins. Oh, that's, um, that is Caroline's brother, half brother, not full brother, half brother. And apparently he's very angry. <laughs> um, so, I mean, fun. Right? Maybe we should talk to him, try to cool, cool him down. Whose favorite drink is this? Minty Fresh Pet Confection. What even is that? Apparently that's Aria's favorite drink. That looks so intense. Girl, drink it. Jeez. Um, Caroline's favorite drink is just some wine. Cool. I like it. Um, let's go ahead and talk to our brother. I don't know why he's so mad, but I guess we'll talk to him. Oh, she's dating one of our brothers. She is dating, or is it her who's dating one of our brothers? No, I think it's her. This April girl, I'm pretty sure, is dating Brady, Caroline's brother. Let me show you her family tree really quick. Arya's an only child. But Caroline has, Aaron is her oldest half-brother, and then Brady is her other brother, and she's the youngest of the three, and her mom passed away, and that's her dad. So now you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> and yeah, I'm pretty sure April is mar is not married to, but dating Brady, our brother Brady. So there's that. Um, who, who's this guy? Julian Fang. He's kind of cute. Oh, well, maybe not when he's making that face, but... Oh, he has a mohawk going on. Interesting. Let's be friends with this girl. I think she's cute. You know who she is, actually, now that I think about it? She is, um, Arya's cousin. So why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to your cousin, Arya? Did she get a moodlet from that drink? Because it looked like something that would give you... It's pet food? That drink was pet food. It made her sick because it was pet food. Well, Arya, you're the one who ordered it. Apparently, it's your favorite drink. God. <laughs> yeah, Terry is her cousin. Terry is Arya's cousin. So let's be good friends with her because I think she's great. Like, she's, like, super cute, and I love her. She's really sweet. So that's actually really nice that she has a cousin that's, like, the same age as her. Um, I'm going to have Aria actually order something to eat because she's kind of hungry. So let's just get some french fries because whatever. I was kind of hoping that there would be like some potential lovers out tonight. But I mean, who knows? Maybe Caroline and Terry could be a thing. Caroline and Aria is not going to happen because that's her cousin. But I mean, she's fair game for Caroline. I'm just saying. <laughs> I was actually kind of nervous that um, Caroline's ex-boyfriend would show up, if I'm being completely honest with you, but he didn't, so it's fine. <laughs> oh god, she got like a whole freaking thing of 
fries. Like, eight servings of fries. Okay, cool. Uh, can we, like, take this home with us? I mean, we paid for it, right? We'll put away. Oh, we can't put it in our inventory because we don't own it. We bought it. We paid for it. What do you mean we don't own it? Like, I paid for it. I should be able to bring it home with me. That's bullcrap. I am not okay. I do not approve. That is stupid, but whatever. Um, it's fine, I guess. Well, I guess we might as well have... Oh, no, Caroline's full. She doesn't need any, if we're being honest. Well, it's kind of nice that we saw Arya's cousin... Uh, so now she actually has a relationship with her cousin, which she didn't before. So that's cool. Um, I think I'm at, oh, who's this Tatum guy? Oh, he's a teen. Okay, cool. Uh, moving on. Uh, I think I might place some young adults. Oh, I think she's a young adult. Yes, her name is Heather. Yes, Heather. Let's go be friends with Heather. She's nice. I added her to this world myself. So, yeah. We're going to become friends with Heather and Terry. Okay? That's the game plan. Be friends with Heather and Terry. Heather's mom is really pretty. I made her. And she's beautiful. And I don't know who her dad is, but that's okay. And Terry's super cute, too. Yay! Fun! We're making friends. This is awesome. Wow. Great. Oh, this girl. Let's be friends with this girl. She, yeah, she's, like, really sassy, and I like her. Let's go give her an introduction. Ario, go be friends with her. Please. Because I like her. She's got spunk and a lot of cats. <laughs> and I think she's great. So, wow, we're making friends. This is so fun. Yay. Friendship. I mean, we have our core group of friends. That's like this group, which you haven't even met Eric and Oliver yet. But you will. You'll meet them, and you'll see what the hype is about. But yeah. Wow, fun. This is so fun. But I am actually going to go ahead and end this part here. Um, in the next one, we are probably going to actually get together with our club. Um, it'll be the first time seeing them since, you know, uh, Caroline broke up with Eric, which is going to be kind of interesting but you know we'll have to see how it goes um but yeah that's the plan i really hope that you guys enjoyed this part i hope that you're all having a really amazing day and i'll see you all in my very next video bye guys